may be on the brink of a scientific and engineering achievement. This is it. the ultimate adventures in speed that adventure of stan barrett to reach mach 1 sos is continuing here at rogers dry lake edwards air force base that 39 foot rocket car powered by a hybrid engine as well as a sidewinder missile shooting for over 700 miles per hour this man stan barrett who in 1979 at bonneville utah took to the fastest mark ever at nearly 640 miles per hour but at Bonneville, the car shook and bounced over the ground so much in this run that a new place had to be found. That's why we moved to Edwards Air Force Base, the Rogers Dry Lake. Here, the rocket car making the last run prior to the effort you're to see today, assuming a speed of over 700 miles per hour. Thank you for the good night's rest. All these things we have in Jesus' name, amen. Stan Barrett in the car. We are in the final moments of countdown. The temperature standing at 20 degrees, which makes the okay. sound barrier 731.9 miles per hour. Kirk Swanson locks him into the car. And we are ready for the final effort in this series to attain the sound barrier with a land vehicle. A bit more than two minutes before builder designer Bill Frederick will give the command to fire off this rocket car and send it on its way. There's the telemetry room. Joe Sargent standing by to read out the speed of the vehicle, hoping to attain 731.9 miles per hour and the barrier. And there you see the rocket car, Barrett encapsulated in the machine now. There's the front metal wheel, which will be turning 9,000 revolutions plus per minute. No tire with could stand it. The power plant at the back, 60,000 horsepower here with that hybrid engine and the sidewinder. Car builder Bill Frederick going down through the checklist for the final time. The pitot tube in the nose of the rocket car, the first object to penetrate the sound barrier, Mach 1, if they make it, and then the shock waves will flow down the fuselage and build up here at the cockpit, where there'll be a tremendous beating and buffeting for Barrett in that 20 inches wide, 39 inch area for the driver. No one knows what will happen when they hit Mach 1. The flare gun indicating one minute in the count to blast off. Okay, Stan, we're going to do some burnouts. All right. Which number seven? Give me a little one. This is it. There you see the hybrid engine coming alive, the sidewinder just above it, 60,000 horsepower in this one final thrust for the barrier. Air Force radar will be checking this run, but after this one, it'll be back to the drawing board if they do not succeed. A quick look at the course Barrett will cover today from the zero to the one mile marker in about 10 seconds, going 500 miles per hour, then hits the sidewinder three seconds later, and at the two mile mark should be going Mach 1. A half mile later, one and eight ten seconds, he hits his chute and hopefully begins to slow down. There is General Chuck Yeager, the first man to go through the barrier back in 1947. We may be on the brink of a personal as well as a scientific and engineering achievement. Here we go, Stan. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition. start. Stan Barrett roars toward the mile marker. Hits the sidewinder. Heading for the two-mile marker. We have seen this vehicle make some 18 runs, but none so flawless as this. 
The reaction of 37-year-old Bishop California, Stan Barrett. One word for it. Wow. Slowing down in the four-mile area. Talk about whipping, rolling resistance. What a phenomenal run for car builder Bill Frederick. And right here, going down to the six-mile marker where the car has come to rest. There you see the crew picking up the chute. Stan Barrett still in the machine here at Rogers Dry Lake Edwards Air Force Base. It looks like history has been made. We're waiting for the story. Let's look again and replay. From Air Force radar, watch as 12,000 additional horsepower, 6,000 additional pounds of thrust is triggered by Stanley Barrett with that sidewinder. Gee. 60,000 horsepower working for 731.9 miles per hour. Bill Fredericks on the left assisting Stan Barrett out of the car. I'm going to announce what we got so far. We don't have Flanders speed. We ran out of fuel between two and 400 feet before the lights. We got 734 on radar, 739 on airspeed. We broke the speed. Yeah! The dream of Bill Frederick is attained by driver Stan Barrett and a special salute from one mock buster to another. <laughs> Hours later, I asked the man who first broke the sound barrier in 1947, General Chuck Yeager, what does all this mean? I'll tell you what it means, Ken. We've got a stack of data that high that we'll be using for years on this thing going supersonic on the deck. And another thing is, a guy like Bill Fredericks, his dream, he builds this car in his own backyard, financed by a private citizen. We bring it up here at Rogers Dry Lake at Edwards Air Force Base and drive it. And there ain't nowhere else in the world that something like that can take place except here in the good old USA. For Project SOS, the speed of sound, I'm Ken Squire. Three, two, one, ignition. History has been made. We broke the speed. Yeah. Yeah.